you have. As you look at Ohio State um, defensively, I've gone brain dead. Is the end Boba? That's right. Yeah. Yep. I great mean, player. He seems pretty dominant player. What what concerns you about a guy like that? Well, just what you said. He's a dominant player. I mean, he's big time. He 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 uh, is is big, strong, physical. He rushes the passer very well. Creates a lot of havoc in the run game. Uh, plays extremely strong. They use him in a lot of different roles. They move him around a little bit. Um, so he for sure has our attention. And uh, I know he's a guy our offensive line will study all week. And, and we got to come up with a plan for that one. But um, yeah, he's a good player. He, he's going to require some attention on Saturday. You know, as a receiver coach, I, yeah, I'm not sure you ever know of a, of a good reason for drops. I mean, th there are a lot of reasons. One, uh, it's lack of focus, lack of concentration. It's, it's um, having your hands turned the wrong way. Um, it could be a, um, the ball's in your chest and you get hit the same time. I mean, there are different reasons for drops. Uh, either way, they're in inexcusable. And, um, you know, we are playing some young freshmen and um, doesn't give us an excuse, but those guys need to grow up for us, for us in a hurry. And, you know, uh, we had a big time drop against Penn State on third down. That really hurt us. We had a big time, two big time, she was three or four big time drops Saturday against Rutgers on third down. That really hurt us. And so um, whoever it is, there's no excuse for it. We need to take it out of our game. But um, it'll for sure be a point of emphasis, um, as it is every week. But we need to increase our sense of urgency when it comes to that situation. No doubt about it. Yeah, without those drops, I think he had a really a, a phenomenal day. And I still think that he played well. He played well enough for us to win that game. Now, we were going to ask him, he needs to manage the ball better and take care of it better in some certain situations. But man, he, he, he settled down a little bit. Um, again, we're trying to, to, to stay with concepts that he understands and he can handle. He's practiced his butt off. Uh, he studied a ton of film. So he's doing all the right things uh, that it takes to get ready. And, um, you know, I still think physically he needs some time to develop and get bigger and stronger for him really to be at a high level Big Ten quarterback. But at this point right now, four games into his career, um, he's handling the things that we need him to handle. And I think that he's gotten better every single week, which at the end of the day is, is what we try to do with this program is just get better every single day. Yeah, you're right. I mean, there, there are a lot of working parts to it. And not only does he need to worry about what he's doing, but he needs to get the other 10 guys lined up, needs to communicate, needs to get the ball snapped, needs to be aware of blitzes, um, you know, protections. So, yeah, there's a lot on his plate. And I'm not sure, you know, uh, to the outside eye, to the people watching it on TV, you really understand all that's going on. Uh, and then, oh, by the way, you got Ohio State rushing down your throat trying to take your head off. And so, you know, it, it, you, know you need to um, be pretty strong-minded to be out to be able to go out and play quarterback and, and as a young kid I think he's doing a good job. Because it's a young guy who needs confidence and now guys are dropping passes, it, there'd be a tendency to maybe press a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, but but we're not gonna let that happen. I, we we've talked to Alexander, he knows that those drops aren't his fault and, and so we're not losing any confidence in him. He's not losing any confidence in those receivers. Um, that to me is just a lack of execution. It's something that you know you have a true freshman throwing to a true freshman. And those guys need to work that out. They need to work through it. And uh, they need to go make plays for us. And they're going to for the next three, four years, they're gonna make plays for us. So we're looking forward to it. You have seniors that are, are getting plenty of uh, snaps at receiver, a bunch of freshmen in the beginning. That group in between, are you disappointed with the way they haven't exactly developed? You know what, that's, that's a great point, and that, and that could be a very long conversation if you want to sit down and go through everything that's happened. You know, it starts with Cody Latimer leaving early that that um, that put us behind a little bit. But I'm, I don't know that I'm disappointed. I just think that's how things have worked out. And we're very fortunate that Dominique Booth, Jay Shun, Simi Cobbs, uh, Cray Keel, that, that's a, a class of four freshman receivers that came in a year ago. We're fortunate that they're here and have the ability to come play early. Um, you know, you always want to redshirt your freshmen just to give them a chance to develop and, and get stronger and learn what college is all about. It's just a different game. It's a different speed. But uh, those guys have been forced to grow up faster than maybe most freshmen are. Um, 
So I don't know that there's any disappointment. I just think that's how things have worked out. And we're going to keep coaching the guys that show up with great attitudes that, that want to get better and want to take this program to a new level. You know, I, I don't – that's a question for Coach Wilson with the program. I, I don't know exactly what exactly his status is, to be honest with you. Angelo, uh, sounds like he had a concussion that game last week. Again, I know that's something Coach Wilson – I know he handles all the injuries and, and those things. If he's not able to be the backup, I'm, I'm guessing Devine would be the backup. Yeah, backup. I mean, we're, we feel like we got a, a pretty good stable of backs. So whether it's Devine, whether it's Miles, um, any one of those guys can go out there and, and fill that role. So I don't know right now today to give you a, an honest answer, but I think someone will run out there and, and fill that spot. Well, a little bit, and, and he was feeling it. I mean, he was having a great night. And to be honest with you, it was cool enough where, um, as a skill guy, early in the year when it's hot, you tend to lose your breath a little quicker. And it's harder to recover. On cool fall days, you can recover a little quicker. Um, so I think a combination of him feeling it, the temperatures being cool, and um, we needed him to go. We needed him to, to, to feed it to him. I hope so. I, I like giving it to Tevin Coleman. I think he's a special player. So as long as he keeps um, uh, smoking it in there and, and, and getting out some long runs, and, then we're going to give it to him. All set. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.